Hi, and welcome to OIT1 HVF, Human Vision and Function. This is an online subject for students at La Trobe University. However, it is available for everybody that wants to learn about the eye. If you want to gain the credit points for this subject though, you must be officially enrolled. My name is Mary Vukisevich and I'll be taking you through the coursework. I'm from the Clinical Vision Sciences Department and we are orthoptists which specialise in eyes, vision, ocular problems and ocular disease. This is how the subject will appear to you in the LMS system and presumably you have found the introduction folder which is how you actually got to this video. So you'll see that the subject is divided into three main study areas. They are how the eye works, understanding vision and vision in real life. Each study area will be further divided into smaller topics to make it easier for you to study the concepts. The first topic is how the eye works and you'll see that there are four subheadings and they are what is light, anatomy of the eye, light stimulus in the eye and the anatomy of the visual pathway. So you're going to have to work through all of those topics there. You just um, click on each page and that will open up the content for you. The next one is understanding vision and this comprises uh, our understanding of what is vision and how is it measured uh, and includes discussion and learning about colour vision and uh, also depth perception. Vision in real life, this topic, is where we put all the information from the previous topics together and think about how eye problems affect real people. The method used for the case studies is what we call problem-based learning and you will find an explanation of what problem-based learning is on the first page. The following pages are case studies about a family and uh, each of them have their own eye problem. You'll see on the right hand side there, there's a family tree and that shows how each of the patients uh, are related to one another. This screenshot is um, taken from one of the case studies when you go into them and you'll see there's a referral letter for this patient, Sam Sinclair. Um, it's going to be hard for you to see it if you're just looking at the screen like this but what you'll need to do within the LMS is actually click on that referral letter and it will take you to an external web page where you'll be able to enlarge it, um, reduce it, see it in, in better quality and so forth. So just make sure you click on each of those uh, referral letters to get the full information for your patient. In this slide I've put together a timeline in terms of how long I think it should take you to complete each topic and we're basing this assumption on a 12-week semester. So uh, for the first topic, how the eye works, I would expect you to complete this by the end of week three. Uh, and we're looking at approximately nine to 12 study hours. That's, that's from when you actually start the topic and listen to, listen to and watch all the videos, do all the reading and, and so on. Understanding vision should take you uh, between weeks four and seven and that's approximately 12 to 14 study hours to get through the material. Uh, of course, you know, you might need a bit more time to actually understand the concepts yourself. And then finally, the vision in real life uh, topic area is the largest. And I think you should work through this section between weeks eight and 12. Uh, and that's once you've worked out how the eye works and how vision works, 3D vision and colour vision. It'll be very difficult to understand the case studies if you haven't done the previous two topics, so do them first. So uh, I would think that this would take you between 15 and 18 study hours, um, possibly a little bit more if you're struggling to understand the concepts. For each of the topics, you'll find a written uh, introduction to the topic, what it's about, uh, a YouTube playlist or videos of some kind that support the material. Uh, these may be uh, either created uh, by myself and, and narrated by me or they might uh, be very good externally sourced videos. There's also supplementary reading which you should work through and of course finally some revision questions and there are answers to the revision questions for the first two topics. The final topic 
the Vision in Real Life case studies does not have uh, answers. It's expected that you'll use the problem-based learning approach to to work through the, the questions for the case studies and discuss these with the other students in your groups. The revision questions for the first two topics though will be useful for you to prepare for your quiz assessments and if you can answer all of these revision questions then essentially you'll be ready to complete the quiz. Whilst you'll be accessing human vision and function via the Latrobe University LMS or Learning Management System website, uh, it's also possible to uh, access an exact mirror copy of this subject via Wikiversity. And here is the link. Uh, you don't actually need the link. You just type in www.wikiversity.org and then do a search for human vision and function and you'll see the subject in its entirety available to you um, publicly or to anybody. As I said previously, in order to get the uh, credit points for the subject through La Trobe University, you do need to be enrolled in it. But uh, for example, if the LMS system is down or you're struggling to log on for whatever reason, you can uh, go to Wikiversity website and find the subject there. Much of the material presented to you in this subject was created by my colleague Jean Pollock and I have prepared this online version for you together with input from staff in the Department of Clinical Vision Sciences and also with support from uh, educational designer Lee Blackall. If you have any questions throughout the semester, I'd be very happy to answer them via the LMS discussion board. Uh, only use my La Trobe University email address if you are having difficulties or personal issues that you don't want anyone to see. If you have a question related to an assessment, subject content, where to find something, etc., you must post it to the LMS discussion board. Uh, I hope you enjoy the subject and good luck.